Hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel, Too Cute for Cancer. My name is Jody, and I have been fighting cancer for 20 years. Presently, I'm living with stage four metastatic breast cancer that is spread to my bones. Today's subject is part two of how many and what kind of surgeries I have had related to cancer and how these surgeries have affected my body uh, and my body image and self-esteem. Um, it's funny thinking back to each of my surgeries. I didn't have time to stop and think about how each surgery was going to affect my body in the long run or how it would make me feel as a woman. At the time, all I was focusing on was just getting rid of the cancer, just being done with it. In part, I was numb, I guess. Now I'm experiencing maybe a delayed grieving process or, or something like that. I look in the mirror and I have a long scar uh, under each armpit. I have six inch scar on my chest and uh, no nipples, no breast. My chest is concave and my stomach sticks out um, where my boobs should be. <laughs> Uh, at times, I think about going back for re reconstructions, but then I think, why? Why bother enduring more pain on my dying body? So, daily, I do my best to see my scars as battle wounds, where I've won the fight. <laughs> One thing I do hate, and it bothers me more than my chest, is my right arm. I have lymphedema. And because of this, the nodes that they removed, um, I never know what size my arm's gonna be when I get dressed each day. I see a cute sweater, I try it on in a size medium, and I think, oh, that'll be good, that's cute. And then halfway through the day, my arm is swollen and I have to take it off, so, and change to a large or an extra large. All of my clothes are at least two times bigger than what I uh, wear just to accommodate this arm. <laughs> I try to wear a bra with pads to offset um, my frame and the cut, the way they cut and stuff, the swelling, I end up with extra boobs on the side so I've got three boobs and a big arm. Eh. It's easier just to throw a tank on and skip it. For special occasions, I endure it for a short amounts of time. <laughs> my stomach, my kidney surgery was by far the worst of all. The pain from the surgery lasted for months. I couldn't eat, I lost a ton of weight, and I was already thin at that time. I had to start by sipping liquids and then moving on to like two spoonfuls of soft food and gradually build up to a cup of food per day or per meals. I still can't eat uh, much at one time. I eat probably every two, three hours um, or just nibble on my meals throughout the day. If I do overeat, I'm in so much pain, it's just not worth it, my friends, not worth it at all. So no matter how good the food may be, <laughs> uh, not worth it. My tummy scars are about eight inches up and down and I fixed that by getting a beautiful cluster of flower tattoos across my belly. Yeah, the scars can't be seen at all now. One very hard issue I've struggled with is maintaining a steady weight. During radiation, my thyroid got zapped and had to be removed. So that already added to my changing body and stuff. I'm either skinny or like I am right now, I'm 40 pounds over my normal weight. It is easier to manage how I feel about my body when I'm on the lighter side, things don't seem so out of whack. Now, in addition to how my cancer has changed my body, I'm over 50 <laughs> and I'm dealing with normal aging issues. I really have to stop and focus on how my body is feeling, how it's miraculously brought me this far. I have to stop stressing about what I've lost and focus on the many more years that I've gained. On other days, I have to treat myself to maybe a new outfit to perk me up, and <laughs> that's okay. All of my life, I've been known as the pretty one. My family labeled me 
the cute, pretty one. My sister was the smart one, the accomplished one. And my baby sister was, you know, the baby sister. And in high school, I was in dance group and always got to be like, do the best dances because I was tiny and could be lifted easily. And in cheerleading, I was always the one at the top of the pyramid. In college, I paid for my school schooling by singing in a small band and a large choir. Um, I was asked to model for a magazine called College Life, and I also modeled for a sports photos that advertised the school's sports program. So that all, all that was my weight, or my body and my face, that's what paid for college. Okay, so, um, yeah, and the funny thing is, I wasn't even into sports and never worked out, and yet I was their model for their, their program. <laughs> uh, false advertising. Anyway, I never thought of myself as pretty. I just saw me. I really didn't care what I looked like back then. Those were the early years. All I know is I knew how to use my looks to get things. <laughs> now, fast forward uh, to cancer. Everything I was so proud of and known for was damaged. My weight was all over the place. I'm bald and I look in the mirror and I don't see me anymore. Actually, for a very long time, I haven't recognized myself. Cancer has forced me to focus on more than my face and size. Mm -hmm. While I still work on camera interpreting and looks in my field are held as a perk. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I've started really honing in on my skills, taking my skills to the next level. Cancer has forced me to be more proactive about everything. I'm a warrior. My scars are beauty marks now, and I'm proud to have survived them. I, I look at my scars and re they remind me of the alternative, what it could have been. Without the scars, I wouldn't be here to raise my kids, I wouldn't be here to see my grandchildren born. So it's a mixture for me, a mixture of sadness, a little bit of trauma, and a lot of thankfulness. So I guess that's it for today, that was my thoughts. Now, if you are new to my channel, and would like to know my story or support my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. We are developing a nice little community here with a lot of love and support, so don't miss out. All right, you guys, until Friday, yay! <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. This is Too Cute for Cancer, signing off. Bye.